crypto what's going on toxic gamers today we gotta talk about the modern day gaming everybody what is going on in gaming everybody right like it feels like that modern day video games is just a checklist man you remember call of duty 2009 no russian call of duty 2024 be like no gender for you so just like the video if you think there are two genders dislike the video if you think there are five thousand genders and you guys are not ready for this one Shout out to the homie Andy Pants Gaming. Let's get to it. Today, I want to talk about the great pussification of video games that has happened the past 20 years. Is it a soy-based diet doing this? Is it the rise of OnlyFans simping doing this? If you have recently had the thought, I wonder what new pumpkin-flavored items Trader Joe's has. Be careful, my brother in Christ. You might be gay now. But if there's one thing that is straight as hell, it's the rock-solid video games of the 2000s. Your Gears of War, your Medals of Honor, your Chronicles of Riddick's. I, I do miss the Medal of Honor, so the Medal of Honor 2010, you know, right before Battlefield 3 was just amazing. How many of you played that? One in the comments if you did play that, two if not. That game was so good, man. Like, it was really, really sick, man. I miss that. And because of Warfighter, they were like, nah, man, let, let's just end it. Let's just end it, man. These games were masculine as hell, and we want them back, and we're boycotting video games until they come back. I recently saw this disappointing photo of Phil Spencer being pushed out of the photo by two domineering girl bosses who are probably unfulfilled because they're trying to succeed in the corporate world instead of having children at home like God designed them to. And don't hey, you love Phil's cute little- Whoa, 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 hey, 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 tranquilo papi, 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 tranquilo brother, tranquilo man, damn, yo, I remember he used to be like massive Xbox fan, now he just started going crazy, not the homie gaming for everyone, man. Don't do the gaming for everyone, man, like that, bro. That, like, damn, homie. Little Doom shirt, like, hey, guys, I'm still one of the bros, right? Look, like, we can still hang, right? Nah, Phil, you're trash. You got cucked, dude. You're useless. So I have found that there are still people out there who deny the simple <laughs> fact that games have gone woke, homo, and gay in 2024. So in this video, I'm going to literally prove it to you oh, using science. What we will do- Bro got no filter on. But is he lying though? Is he lying though? Is he lying though? The answer may shock you, ladies and gentlemen. Is read the back of the box description of six random games from 2024. And then we will read the back of the box descriptions of six random games from the 2000s. And if what I'm saying is true, we should notice a feminization, a pussification, <laughs> a gayification of video games that has happened oh the past God. 20 years. Oh and before you bring up that video games don't have boxes anymore in 2024, calm your tits, you know what I mean. So to find six modern games, I didn't have to look very far. I literally just went to the front page of Xbox Game Pass and found these games. This is clearly what Phil and his team of homos actually expects us men to play. Here they are, Creatures of Ava, Dungeons of Hinterburg, Flintlock Siege of Dawn, Flock, Magical Delicacy, and Forgot to include Dustborn, but you get the idea. Oh man, oh man. Let's actually see how many people are enjoying the- <laughs> Bombocan. Nine people are enjoying Dustborn. This game was funded by, never forget guys, by uh, taxpayer dollars. Uh, this game was funded by, I'm just trying to search Concord. Now this app has been retired. Seven people enjoying the game. Seven people enjoying the game. Yeah, crazy. Chia. Now you might say, oh, Andrew, you're specifically picking out games aimed at children. No, dude, I'm literally just going to the front page of Game Pass, and these are six games featured on the front page of Game Pass. Also, side note, isn't it weird that these pedo developers are always making games aimed at kids? <laughs> but that's a Thanks. whole other thing I'm not going to get into right now. Yeah. All right, so what games from the 2000s should we compare these with? These are six kind of random games that I just happen to pull off the shelf without thinking too much about it. Man, they man. are Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30, Ride to Hell Retribution, Modern Warfare 2, Dark Sector... <laughs> You know, all the way back, Modern Warfare 2009, no Russian. That game was so masculine, bro. So ballsy. And, and you want to know what they do in 2024? Or rather, 2023? Sounds better to say that way. Call of Duty 2009, no Russian. Call of Duty 2024, no gender. Uh, yeah, right? So they added this skin, Firecracker skin, right? And you see, like, the content was there. <laughs> Yeah, this is not my thumbnail. This is a thumbnail of Review Flix. Shout out to the homie Review Flix right there if you're watching, gang gang. But, uh, you know, this is the after. This is the after. They cut the content by 50% and they still did not refund the customers. Imagine buying the skin for $20 or however it was uh, for, maybe $30 even. Imagine buying the skin and, and seeing the content getting reduced by 50%. The, the product don't work! The product don't work is what people said. And I don't blame the homies, man. Damn, homie, like, they did that. 
So this was the skin with the Burna and they removed the Burna after that because a lot of people were fans after a lot of people they, they saw a lot of people being fan of the skins and they ultimately wanted to defend them so they did that crazy. ASX Human Revolution, Chronicles of Riddick, Assault on Dark Athena. And again, all I'm gonna do here is read the descriptions and we will compare. Okay. 2024, Creatures of Ava. Let your empathy guide you as you play an exciting action adventure creature saver game. Understand and tame the creatures of Ava and let them lead you through a variety of ecosystems, all in the hopes of saving the planet from a life consuming infection. Uh, I also found queen. out that the two main characters of this game are, of course, homosexual black women because, you know, 2024. Let your empathy. They always do that to black people, man. Like, damn, man. Any of my black homies watching this video, man, I want you on the spot immediately. They always do that, bro. Like, uh, I said it in the past, but every time, bro, like in movies, TV shows, uh, in games, every time there's like, they see a black person, they're like, that, that's like a gay. Why? W bro, like, let, what the hell, man? Y'all suckers are insanely racist towards black people, man. Like, that is crazy. They always make black people gay like that. Man, like, black people are normal too, man. Why y'all suckers always gotta be like, hey, uh, 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 it's black, so gotta be black and gay. Right? Like, y'all suckers always do this crap with the black people's sexuality, man. Black people are normal too. Damn, man. Like, this suckers crazy, man. Am I the only one noticing that, or? Empathy guide you? Like, what the hell? I don't... <laughs> I don't play video games to let my empathy guide me in, ooh, I want to be gay and collect creatures and, uh, like this game just sounds retarded, let's be honest. So now let's compare this with a game from 20 years ago. 2005, Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. The back of the box says this, they would sacrifice everything except each other. Like, damn, dude, just grabs you by the balls. Like, that is that is a back of a box. I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm interested now. That is a dope intro for a back of the box. Yeah. It goes on, the night before D-Day, 1944, the paratroopers of the 101st Airborne Division are dropped into Normandy and scattered behind enemy lines. As Sergeant Matt Baker, lead your squad through eight harrowing days that will define history and Holy. unite you forever as brothers in arms. Like, bro, like the balls of these games description. I have to go play this game now. See, this is what's honestly missing from the 2024 homo trash. Like, nothing is good anymore. Nothing grabs us. This is why video games' profits are down. This is... In the Tranquilo, puppy. Puppy, chill, puppy. Video game makers quit catering to the people who actually play games. D yeah, the graphics may have improved, but the content value has gone down the drain. They had balls. They had testosterone. Games, games were really... Just good, man. They were just good games. The stories were good. And now every game is like... Ah. Like strong, independent. I don't need no man, right? Men are always toxic menace to society. You are wrong. You are always just manipulating. And they completely quit catering to their base market of men. Next game, Thanks. 2024 Dungeons of Hinterburg. There we Armed go. with a sword and a tourist guide, explore the beautiful alpine village of Hinterburg and uncover the magic hidden within its dungeons. Master magic, solve puzzles, slay monsters. All this and more awaits you in Hinterburg. Like, imagine having PS5, Xbox, or RTX 3090, 4090, or 5090, or 6090 even if you're watching this video in the future and having games like that now i'm not i'm not saying that games like these should not exist i feel like that there's market for everything but how many times in the last couple years during let's just say summer game fest right a uh, summer game fest gamescoms during xbox showcases playstation showcases shadow plays uh you know all the showcases we have seen every game look like this like damn man like all the showcases in the last few years have been snooze fest there would be just one or two games that would look decent, but that's about it. Every other game is like that. And again, I'm not saying that these games should not exist. Yeah, they, these games can exist. I feel like that everybody uh, can have their, their games, right? But when every game starts to look like this, I mean, damn, bro. What the hell? Where are the good games at? Or not even good games. Where are the decent enough games? Where are the games made for gamers? You, you feel what I'm saying? Like the video if you agree. Dislike if you like, disagree. Okay, I like swords, but based on the game's art style, I know within the first five minutes, we're meeting somebody's non-binary boyfriend. Like, nah, dude, I'm good. Now compare this with the 2013 masterpiece, Ride to Hell Retribution. Back of the box says this. Oh, damn. Two fists, two wheels, no rules. <laughs> now, it's a little cheesy, but I already know one thing. This game has balls, but it gets better. A lone rider, Jake Conway, locked in a battle to the death against a ruthless gang of bikers called the Devil's Hand. Okay, and you got a hot chick on the back. Like, dude, I'm in. I want to play this game now. 
these 2024 games will be three sentences long and still can't grab my attention. And then with like one word, this 2013 game completely has me by the balls. Like guys, it kind of makes me sad that America actually used to export like cool stuff to the world. And now- Yeah, like Last of Us 1 is considered a masterpiece. Last of Us 2, no family, man. Last of Us 1 was like family, 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 family. Last of Us 2 or modern day video games, hey man, family sucks. That's what they're saying, man. They, they're really trying to, they don't like people that that follow God. They don't like people that, that follow family values and they don't love, they don't like families no more, man. It is crazy. They, they want to, they want to just destroy everything, man. Now it's just homo woke garbage that America is exporting. Like you, I know you dudes in Europe know what I'm talking about. Like America used to export, you know, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, the Stallone movies, like all of Holy. the awesome stuff of the eighties and nineties. And look Sheesh. at like the homo trash garbage that America is exporting today. And it's oh man, just looking at like these movies and the games, I, I'm like, Hey, I want to go back and uh, watch these movies uh, again. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like that 90s, the 90s era and the early 2010s era, and this is not to do with woke. I mean, woke is a big problem, don't get me wrong. But generally speaking, right? What was your favorite era? Like, and I want to know your age uh, age as well in the comments uh, as well. Like, let's just say, because I'm sure there are 50 year old watching this video as well. There's some teenagers watching this video. There are young adults, uh, uh, adults watching this, boomers watching this, Gen Z. I feel like that the age group of people that's watching this video is going to be all over the place. Because, uh, yeah, I'm, I've been looking at my analytics. It's like all over the place. But, but here's the thing, though. I want to know your age when you comment. What was your favorite era in terms of video games, movies, just media and, and entertainment in general? I am 28 years old, okay, and I feel like that the 90s and the early 20, uh, 2000 eras till 2010s was some of the best era ever for video games, for movies, for WWE as well. I love, I miss the 90s era for WWEs, the early 2000 era for WWE as well. After that, I quit watching WWE, but right now I'm hearing that it's getting better and better. And I watched the recent Royal Rumble as well, but that's about it. I'm getting older, got a lot of responsibilities doing YouTube and also, uh, you know, uh, working in real life as well and pursuing other goals and dreams that I have, other ambitions that, that I have as well, right? I, just like you guys as well, right? Like, yeah, we're all getting older. Older, we're all getting busier uh, we're not getting any younger right but but watch it it's getting better right I love to see that I absolutely love to see that and ultimately I do believe that it's gonna get better for sure it's gonna get better uh, uh, yeah it's gonna get better eventually it's gonna get better but but that era was just so good and after that it just went downhill everything went downhill yes the graphics and video games the camera quality for movies and the the, the 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 video quality has gotten better absolutely that's a plus but uh, but man it's not just about cgi or, or or better graphics and video games it's like the meat matters too the quality the contents of the movie the story the 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 the, the gameplay story and progression do matter in video games as well uh right like graphics do matter don't get me wrong quality do matters camera quality resolution quality do matter too but ultimately the quality of the content would always trump you know what i mean such a shame next game 2024 flintlock siege of dawn there we Ship go into the boot of nor van anik an elite m member of the coalition army joined by inky a mysterious fox-like companion in their quest for vengeance against the gods guided by inky who shares his knowledge of the world with you Thank your you. combat skills and traversal abilities will be imbued with this magical powers making you yeah. a duo to be reckoned with like uh, another black chick made game man damn holy Nah, dude, it just sounds gay. It sounds queer. Why is every game like this now? It's always some magical nonsense that never sounds cool. And, and here's the thing, though. They can still have these games, though. You feel what I'm saying? Like, they can still have it. But but when everything is like that, then, of course, uh, people are going to be like, what the hell, right? And that's exactly what's going on. It's like none of these developers beta tested any of these ideas with normal guys. I guarantee you get a bunch of straight dudes in a room and they would tell you this idea was terrible. Oh, but the cherry on top, of course, is this black female lesbian girl boss as the main there character like f off dude i'm not playing I'm, i think it's a woman it might be a man it might be a they them all right jumping back to the 2000s and i know this isn't fair to compare this game but it just popped off my shelf 2009 modern warfare 2 back of the box says this modern warfare 2 continues the gripping and heart racing action as players yeah. face off against a new threat dedicated to bringing the world to the brink of collapse like yes yes dude i want to know that new threat dedicated to bringing the world to the brink of collapse also, if you had played Call of Duty before this, you're kind of already invested, so it's a great tactic. Am I the only one that's like hearing till I collapse from Eminem? Uh, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. 
2024 game, Flock. Flock is a multiplayer co-op game about the joy of flight and collecting adorable flying creatures with your friends. So like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, every game, man, is like that. Bro, like, oh, it, it, oh, hey, I'll, 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 I'll. it ain't even just the world crap. But it's like, games are like that. I mean, damn. Damn, every game is like that, bro. Like, what the hell, man? Can a brother get good games, man? Like, uh, one thing that, the, the most positive thing that I can say here is this, right? At least, they be saving me money. They be saving me money. Hand on top of this bottle of water, guys. Like, the only game right now that I am genuinely looking forward to is GTA 6, bro. And these seconds better not destroy GTA 6, okay? Y'all seconds better not destroy GTA 6. If you destroy GTA 6, you better not destroy GTA 6, man. You better not turn Jason into a strong, independent queen, man. Let Jason be Jason, man. I mean, damn, man. Don't nerf the Lucia Bruna too, bruh. Like, don't do it, man. Bruh. Like, let GTA 6 be GTA 6, okay? Of course, it's gonna have a little bit of wokeness in it, right? Just because in real life, there is wokeness, so it's gonna be parody of that. But if it turns out that it's pushing agendas, then, I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, we're talking GTA 6. It's gonna still gonna sell like hotcakes, for sure. But I hope the game is good, man. That's the only game I'm looking forward to. Let me know what game is, are you looking forward to. Uh, after GTA 6, I would say I'm looking forward to Black Ops 6 in a way, but Zombies is trash. Multiplayer, I, I had fun playing that. I would say it's better than Dustborn and Concord. Bruh. Let's agree to disagree, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because a lot of people are divided with Black Ops 6. But if you're gonna ask me for the only one game, I would say GTA 6, right? Black Ops 6, uh, last year I skipped buying Call of Duty for the first time ever. This year I have not pre-ordered yet and I missed like first few days of the beta. I didn't care. I was like, when the beta goes live for free, I'm gonna play it. But ultimately I got the beta code, so I was like, okay, you know what I mean? The homie Tom Henderson put it on his Twitter. It's not like I personally message him or I personally message anybody. He put it out on Twitter around like four in the morning. And you know what? I was on the PC working and uh, I saw it. I was like, okay, let me just uh, copy paste, try to get the code. And it did work. Shout out to the homie Tom Henderson for that. It did work and I tried it out. And, and I'll be honest with you guys, I did enjoy my time. I did not pre-order, so you know what? I played it for free. So I enjoyed my time. But uh, I don't know whether the game is going to be amazing post-launch or not. Is it going to be able to carry us? Or is it going to be hold us over? I don't know about that. I'm looking forward to GTA 6 and that's about it. Uh, you know, a Battlefield 6, maybe if it turns out to be good. But, you know, that's EA. I'm waiting for story games as well. Wolverine as well. But ultimately, Insomnia Games did say that. Uh, you know, it needs to be more diverse, uh, there, there's lack of LGBT representation, not my words, that's what Insomniac Director said. So, I wouldn't be shocked if uh, Wolverine, the manliest uh, character, fictional character ever, manliest fictional character ever, turns out to be... You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I wouldn't be shocked, okay, whatever. The, but, but, yeah, man. I want to know what game you guys are looking forward to the most. Or through beautiful landscapes, seeking out rare and elusive creatures to add to your flock. Like, dude, this shit is gay. Like, this is either designed for a five-year-old or it's designed for a 30-year-old gay man or it's designed for a woman. But none of those people are buying Xboxes. Like, Phil, you're retarded and your company's going to go out of business if you keep this up. All right, jumping back to the 2000s, hey, whoa, this is a good whoa, one. Whoa. Dark Sector, 2008. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, tranquilo, papi, 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 chill, papi. Hey, papi, chill. Become the ultimate weapon. The virus, the source of your pain. Your enemy, your power. Unleash the deadly power of the glaive and become the hero. Like, dude, there's that's the back of a box right there. Now I'm intrigued. Now I'm like, whoa, a, a virus? My power? What is the glaive? Like, what is this about? I want to become the ultimate weapon. Like, in the 2000s, games were made by straight dudes. And in 2020, games are made by mostly gay men and women. Like, it's it's that simple. Men, actual straight men, we want power. We want cool weapons. We want, you know, deadly powers and glaives and becoming the ultimate weapon. That sounds cool. But if you're a gay man or a woman or a child, none of which are people who actually play video games, then you want to collect adorable creatures. It really comes down to that. 2024, Magical Delicacy, and I've made fun of this game before. To me, it doesn't matter who makes the game, okay? I'll keep it simple. But I want a good game. I don't want no agendas being pushed down my throat. I don't want no woke politics. I don't want crazy politics either. I don't, I just want a good game, man. I just want a good game. Just good game without pushing the, the need of agenda. Just keep it real, keep it raw, keep it organic. 
keep it fair i mean doesn't have to keep it fair but i mean keep it raw keep it organic keep it ballsy keep it masculine as well right uh, but there can be like uh games that are feminine too but don't try to change feminine femininity into masculinity right it's like you have a feminine character that is masculine and you have a masculine character that's feminine i mean damn what are we talking about here bro just keep it raw keep it organic keep it real man keep it balls to the wall man keep keep j simply put make games for the gamers simple 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 easy 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 a wholesome pixel art platformer Cook magical delicacies from a vast collection of ingredients in your own shop. Explore an unfamiliar town and deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. Like, no, dude. What? This game is made for the gamers, of course. No no wonder gamers not gonna play for it. <laughs> this is not made for the gamers, I should say. This They're trying to make this for the gamers, and, and they want gamers to accept it, but this is not made for gamers. The fuck? Yeah, no straight guy has ever thought, I want to deliver tasty treats to the townsfolk. That is something women would do but that is not something a straight guy would be like "Ooh, i want to deliver tasty treats jumping back to a classic from the 2000s deus ex human revolution 2011. the big tech says the truth will change you like damn son what truth i have to know what is being hidden from me damn. it goes on critically injured after a deadly attack adam jensen undergoes a life-saving operation augmenting him with powerful cybernetics caught in the middle of a vast conspiracy adam's choices he looks like the um the uh, uh the antagonist the bad guy from that man of steel movie right i believe his name was azad from uh could be wrong could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong i i wanna man i so wanna see man of steel too bruh with henry cavill especially but see they don't like those characters no more man they don't like masculine characters no more bruh this will affect both himself and all of humanity as he seeks answers across the globe like, dude, I am rock hard right now. Like, I want to play this game. I don't want to play. I, I feel like that as a straight man, I'm, I'm now a minority. I feel like that straight dudes are definitely minority. Any straight person watching this video, let me know, man. Straight men, how? Who would have thought, right? In the year 2024, in the year 20, in the, the 21st century, straight dudes would be the minority, man. Anything about collecting adorable creatures or delivering gay treats to people's houses, I want to play whatever human revolution is about. And it's Hold funny because like I can't put my finger on exactly what made 2000s games so good, but it has something to do with men. Dude, we're dudes and we want games about dudes. And we want games about male transformation and identity and a man who is going through something, who is actually a man. I can't really describe yeah. what made the 2000s games so good other than that they're focused exclusively Holy. on the male psyche. You look at the character, a uh, character, the, the cover art, it's like, bruh, bruh, like, you feel what I'm saying? It just shows you what's going on, man. And today's today's arts are like <laughs> like that, man. Let me actually zoom in on this one, man. Damn, homie. Damn, damn. Like, look at that. That's modern day video game, bro. Like, damn, homie. Yeah. F out of it, that man. Get the f out of it, that, bro. Uh, because it was men playing the games. It's always been men playing the games. So as long as Sony and Xbox don't realize this obvious fact and keep designing games for fourteen-year-old girls, for women, and for gay men. Um, I, I truly think Xbox is going to go out of business and Sony will go out of business if they don't figure out who their audience is quick. In a way, he's not wrong because Concord, they lost $100 million plus dollars on this trash, right? On this piece of junk and they ultimately had to shut down. Now, there's another game by the name of Fair Games that they're looking to release, which people are calling it Concord 2.0. Check out this video on the screen. It's the latest one in the situation okay check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there insane drama if you already seen it then check out the video on the left crazy drama with dr disrespect as well man and i'll see you right there fellas